Every now and then, the daily routine of normal life can feel somewhat dull. Now, I actually love routine. For the most part, it helps me thrive. I'm a big believer in setting your life up to help you live a better, healthier, and more fulfilling life. But that doesn't stop it from sometimes feeling tiring. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about the environment, about my role as a citizen in my city, about the rising gas prices and the costs associated with driving everywhere, and about my own mental health. These ideas floating around in my head led me to the idea that I need some sort of change, and I wondered what I could do to interrupt my routine. This is what I came up with. Honestly, this isn't a crazy idea, but I wondered what difference it would make if I biked to work for a week instead of driving. I know some bikers will say this is probably the easiest challenge ever, but on the other hand, it also seems crazy to choose to bike when driving is so much more convenient. Now my commute is only about 12 kilometers round trip, so I'm kind of confident that this is gonna be pretty easy. It won't be too hard at least. I spent the night before my first day of the challenge tuning up my bike and testing it out after it sat in the shed all winter. It was real nice to be out on the bike again. It actually got me super excited for this. I forgot how bad this bike was. Back brake, so the right hand brake just does not work. I tried to fix that just before I went on this ride and it uh, yeah, didn't go well apparently. So I'll have to take a look at that. Um, the front brake luckily works really well. So we'll see. Day one, see how this goes. We made it. Two things stood out to me. One, I'm way more out of shape than I thought I was. I never do cardio, and it was a lot of work to bike six kilometers. Two, it was actually super beautiful. It's still a lot colder than I thought it was. I think that's what happens when you bike though because uh, you're hit by the wind constantly and it was a windy day today. Uh, but we made it and only 10 minutes longer than it normally takes me. It's time to get to work and we'll see how I feel at the end of the day before biking home. Alright, after a long day of working, we are ready to get back on the bike and head out. Just like that, day one is complete. Here I was thinking it was safe to start this challenge in spring, in April. Well, we'll see how this goes today. So I've only actually ridden in the snow before like a few other times. It actually wasn't bad the last few times I have, but this is much deeper snow than I'm used to. I'm not gonna keep the camera out because I will need both hands on my handlebars. 
So we will check in when we arrive at work. As weird as it was having that much snow in the middle of April, it was actually a really pleasant ride to work. It didn't really get that cold, and the sun was just coming in, pouring through the trees. The golden hour was beautiful. Honestly, it was pretty peaceful, and I found myself thankful for that throughout my work day. The way home was actually pretty solid too. It warmed up a ton, which also meant the snow melted and it was soaking wet everywhere. So I definitely got a little bit dirty on the way home and I realized fenders would be huge. It would also be great to have a, some sort of rack on the back of my bike where I could strap my backpack and I don't have to carry it to and from work full of stuff. Day three and four were actually really solid. Despite it being a little bit cold in the mornings and adding a few extra minutes to either end of my commute, I definitely found myself showing up to work and getting home at the end of the day with a bit of a different attitude. Instead of my normal road rage at slow drivers and rushing to get to and from work as quickly as possible, slowing down on the way there and back actually gave me time to think, to appreciate the weather, and to be a little bit more observant. Day four is done. We'll see you tomorrow. Just like that, we made it to day five. Lucky me, it is the most beautiful day it's been yet. So I'm actually not too tired of riding and it's been really good so far. So excited for this last day. So did it really make any difference for me to bike to work? Well, there sure are a few challenges to figure out. Figuring out how to get to work with my camera gear, my lunch, a change of clothes, water, is a bit of a challenge. I know this could be easily solved with a bike rack, but I also found myself working up a sweat before work, which wasn't ideal. And I definitely had to consider leaving more time for myself on either end of my work day. And finally, the maintenance of my bike itself was a bit of a stress. My bike is not great and I didn't put a lot of time into it. Again, those are easy issues to solve, but they were challenges I had to think about. Honestly though, I'd say the pros are far outweighing the cons. One of the big pros is actually saving money. I found myself smiling when I rode past the gas station every morning and saw the price of gas skyrocketing, knowing that I didn't have to spend any money on my commute. I also know that if I could manage to do this all the time, I would save money on insurance for my car. I also felt that somehow, through my commute to work, I was contributing to my city and the environment. Even just for myself, that reassures me that I know that change is possible everywhere. I know it's a small difference, but it still feels like a difference that I can make. And of course, another benefit is the little bit of exercise you get on the way to and from work. The biggest benefit though, isn't just about riding a bike. The challenge really did interrupt the daily routine that I was getting tired of. Instead of feeling like I was rushing everywhere I was going and experiencing the frustrations of traffic, I actually had time to slow down and to think, to enjoy some fresh air when I otherwise wouldn't have. I feel like when I am driving to and from work, my thoughts and my processing get drowned out. But something about biking actually allowed me to think. I think this extra time to process and think has benefited both my attitude at work and my attitude when I get home. It separates my work life from my home life. It wakes me up in the morning so I'm more attentive and ready to go at work. And it gives me time to reset, refresh, and be ready to talk and hang out with my wife when I get home. For me, 
these benefits far outweighed any of the cons of the time that it takes to bike to work or the maintenance that I need to think about with my bike. These benefits are lifestyle. These are actually quality of life improvements for me. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I believe in setting your life up for success. Setting your life up to live a life that's healthier, that's more fun, that's more fulfilling. And for me, this is actually helping me achieve that. So it's something that I want to carry forward with me. Now, if you're wondering if this is something that you can do too, or if you're just thinking of giving it a go, I'd really encourage you to just try it. You don't need to sell your car and buy a $4,000 bike. Just use an old one or ask to borrow a friend's and try it for a week. If it makes you miserable, don't do it. But like me, you might be really surprised by the benefit and you might end up really enjoying it. I think I'm gonna keep with it. I may not stick with it every single day. It might not be a rigid scheduled routine, but the more I do it, the better. And who knows, maybe it'll make a big difference.